A woman in Alexander County sacrificed her own health to try to save her husband from a fire, but sadly he did not survive. Chopper 9 captured this video of crews rushing the 74-year-old woman by helicopter to the hospital with those severe burns. Today, our Dave Faraday was with investigators as they tried to figure out the cause of that fire. Dave? And Scott, much of the damage from this fire is around the rear of the home where it started. But even from where I'm standing right here, we can see some damage around the front of the house. Let me step over the camera real quick. I'm going to push in right there. You can see where flames burn through the roof. Fire investigators say it was this rear door of the home where Alta Gaines tried to get her husband to safety after their home south of Stony Point caught fire. Neighbors shared photos of the couple this afternoon. They say David Gaines was paralyzed more than 30 years ago. His wife never stopped caring for him and risked her own life to save him last night. There was no doubt about it. If there's any way she could do it, she would do it because I, she took care of him hand and foot. Miss Alta would not leave him for nothing. She was not coming out of the house without him. Both the SBI and the Alexander County Fire Marshal's Office spent three hours investigating the fire this morning. They believe the cause was accidental, most likely started from an electrical problem in this bedroom. It was loud. It was really loud. It sounded like a stick of dynamite went off. Neighbors rushed to help the couple, getting Alta Gaines to safety and pulling her husband away from the door. David Gaines died. His wife was airlifted to the hospital with second and third degree burns to nearly 30 percent of her body. Friends are praying she makes a full recovery. She would have done it over and over. It didn't matter if it's a Johnny come lately walking down the road. If they were in trouble, she'd jump out. She'd do it. And we asked investigators about those explosion sounds that neighbors in this area heard. They told us earlier today it was most likely from an oxygen tank and ammunition found inside the home. Reporting live from Alexander County, I'm Dave Faraday. Now back to you.